right there is the first chunk of meat from the 85 grain Sierra Varmenteers out of the 65 Grendel. Left an awesome blood trail. Look at this. There's a good splatter. Spraying everywhere. All through here. Oh, spun around this way. Man, look at that pile of blood. I want to do a quick shout out to James from Gatesville, Texas, who sent me some 120 grain spear bullets that had been out of production for a while, but unfortunately, they actually came back into production. Um, I've had these on back order with my provider for the past probably year, and so I've got a stock of this now, and James couldn't get this to run his rifle, at least to the consistency he likes, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Um, so I don't know how many rounds he sent me. I think these are the same thing, 120 gram spears. Uh, yeah, yeah, same ones. So yeah, we'll get these loaded up and 6.5 Grendel and definitely get the six point. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh dang, I'm in business for a while. Yeah, these have been out of production for a while, so it's good to have these. I will get these loaded up definitely for the Creedmoor and then also for the Grendel. Let's go get some tonight. Tuesday, I invited a friend moving to Georgia to go shooting before he starts his new career. His favorite part of the day was shooting a crossbow for the first time and slamming steel at the length of two and a quarter football fields. Not bad considering this is only the second time he shot a rifle. So last night I headed out after work. I got off to a late start but the moon had just got under 75% illumination and the temperatures had been hovering in the mid 80s. Tonight the wind was constantly pushing 12 to 15 miles per hour with an occasional severe gust. I was scanning the field for hogs when this pair of coyotes came out. I hadn't even put out my collar yet. I had passed on four coyotes in West Texas waiting for a hog. I wasn't going to make that same mistake tonight. And let's pick up the action from here. Man, look at that pile of blood. And it expired right here. This is definitely the smaller of the two. There's the entrance wound. I'm really interested to see what this looks like compared to the Grendel. This was the smaller of the two, but I didn't want to shoot the bigger one in the back just because the horses were coming across the side. Ugh. I don't think it's got the mange, but it's definitely, yeah. Just like the 6.5 Creedmoor. Awesome exit wound. Not too damaging. The Fleur 736 Thermosite Pro allowed me to line up a perfect hard shot on this 125 yard coyote. The Sierra 85 grain Varmateer slammed the coyote at 2,545 FPS, delivering 1,223 foot pounds of energy, dropping the coyote in less than 20 yards. This female scaled over at just 25 and a half pounds. Happy Memorial Day 2019, and stay tuned for my next adventure.